not quite uh, how we planned it, however, uh, so we're going to have to jiggle it around a little bit and make it work. We're going to have uh, brick walls coming down like this. We now need to also make a brick wall here and here. I'll look at all these brick walls. We're going to make a ton of brick walls. Man, cell block A is going to be fantastic. Look at how fantastic cell block A is going to be. It's already shaping up to be a true winner. To be able to get some solitary confinement, uh, which would be nice. And it uh, looks like somebody... Uh, shit. Yeah, we're going to have to do uh, this, I think. We're going to have to do it like that and like that and then have the entrance there. That should be fine. Right, we should be good with that. Be able to demolish that wall. Uh, and replace the entrance. Uh, whoa, I did not want to do that. I want to do this. There's like a little hallway that's going to come down here into solitary. Look at, listen to how busy these guys are. Listen to the busy beavers at work. Of course, the construction workers are now uh, absolutely furious that I've called them all beavers. Uh, but them, them's the breaks, construction workers. Uh, this is going to be one heck of a cell back here. Maybe another solitary, actually. And uh, planning-wise, we can probably get rid of that probably get rid of that and we're gonna also need to build some more brick walls Did we build some here got one there and one there and should have one there and there okay perfect cell block a is almost done perfecto and oh my god that is that is just a, a goddamn catastrophe <laughs> we're gonna have to sort this out uh we could do it though it'll be fine uh we're gonna get rid of the wall here and we're also going to possibly uh, make the entrance uh, into here like that. Okay, we'll get rid of all this crap here and then we'll remake it. It'll be fine. Okay, perfect. Uh, we still have a whole bunch of prisoners outside. Nobody's eating. Nobody is showering. Nobody is in the holding cell because everybody thinks that they need to be in solitary confinement. That's fine. We can accommodate that uh, very shortly, actually. Uh, as soon as this has been all ripped apart and we can actually get uh, the entrance and everything uh, working properly, uh, which is going to happen in a minute, actually, because look at this. I'm going to build the entrance cell block A down here instead. It's going to go in here like this. And we now want to have some solitary confinement doors. Where the hell are those? They are... Ah, here we go. Okay, solitary doors. We're going to have some solitary doors like that. It's going to be great. We're also going to have a solitary cell back here. And then the rest of these can just be normal cells. Okay, great. We're going to install a whole bunch of cell doors onto these cells uh, so that we can start moving some of the prisoners into cell block A out of the holding cell. Uh, and then we can accept another intake of prisoners and actually uh, try to make even more... Oh, wow! Holy crap, look at how much money we're making. Look at how much money we're making right now. How the hell has that happened with seven prisoners? I don't even know. We have 31157 bucks in the bank for Detention Center X as well, which is no problem. Uh, and uh, we need to... I think we actually need to look at doing some more grants. Look at this. I think we've completed all of the other ones. Grants. Cell Block A. This is the one that we want. We want Cell Block A, since that's what we're working on right now anyway. Oh, look at all of these. Holy shit, there are a lot of cool grants that they've added to the game since I last played. Okay, Cell Block A then. Raise your prisoner capacity to 15. That should be no problem now with Cell Block A. We've got more than enough room for prisoners and all sorts of stuff. Uh, we need to connect uh, it up with some electricity, which should be no problem. We can connect it to there. Uh, and then we're going to have to run some uh, water pipes in through as well. Uh, we're probably going to need to have a large water pipe. This could be pretty expensive, actually. We're going to have to have it come down here and then through here, too. We're going to have a mains water pipe coming down through the cell block. And then we're going to have a whole bunch of little pipes coming uh, up and around here to connect up all the toilets that are going to be inside uh, the cell block. Like that. There we go. Perfecto. And maybe one in here, too. I don't know if you actually need to have a toilet inside solitary confinement. I don't think it's a requirement. Uh, but we'll have to see. Okay. Uh, as soon as we have some solitary, then they might be able to start moving some people uh, into uh, solitary. And then, uh, you know, people can go back into the holding cell or whatever. That'd be nice. Uh, solitary confinement. We have some solitary confinement uh, earmarked here. Got the doors on and everything. I think we just need some... No, it's fine. We don't even need power for solitary confinement. Look at this. Here we go. Look, our first prisoner is being escorted to solitary confinement 
by another injured guard. We're going to need to really set things up so that... Uh, oh, look at this. Okay, great. We have movement now. Our prisoners are actually being moved into the places that they need to go. Solitary confinement. Hopefully, we'll be able to get some of these cells set up too uh, so that they can then leave solitary confinement and go back to one of their cells. That would be nice. All right. It looks like everybody is almost where they need to be. We still have uh, Brightman up here. Matthew Brightman, a 43-year-old prisoner who is in lockdown and solitary. He'll need to be moved there once those other guys have served their time in solitary. And Matt Bray, the 22-year-old uh, prisoner guilty of misconduct. He's had an escape attempt and he's attacked staff as well. We're going to need some sort of medical facility because it looks like uh, guard number three here is resting and bleeding out in the yard at the moment, uh, which is not the best. Okay, great. We now have electricity flowing through cell block A, which is great. We're going to need some lights. We need some outdoor lights in the yard, actually. We're going to get some lights set up near the shower area so that if anyone wants to have a moonlight shower, they can do that. We'll also get some lights set up in the corners here, too. Uh, and then we'll get a light uh, in here as well. We'll get a couple lights in here just to light up uh, some of these dark alleyways. Look, we're going to need some lights in here, too. This, this is a dark corridor here. Uh, which is going to be perfect for horror movies if they ever want to film a horror movie in Detention Center X. Uh, we would definitely open up the prison uh, for that to happen as well. What in the fuck is... Okay, let's get rid of this. Why is that door still there? Look, it serves no fucking purpose whatsoever. I can't believe it. I'm so angry. Okay, it looks like Kron Holm is being escorted back to the holding cell along with Parkin. Holy crap! It's been a while since we've actually talked about any prisoners because most of them have just been sitting out in the yard. It looks like we've finally, we've cleaned up all of, what was he doing? What was Nash trying, what was Nash doing in the maintenance room? That is a little bit disconcerting. It looks like he's being escorted to solitary, which is fine. And it looks like Wyatt and Parkin are resting up in beds and having a grand old time. And Kronholm has just taken an almighty, oh no, he's back. He's feeling sick. Look, he's racing back to the toilet. He thought he was done. He was going to go to bed, but no. He's back into the toilet, and now he's going to go for his snooze. Okay, don't sleep with Wyatt, please. Okay, fine. He's in cuffs still, interestingly. He's sleeping in cuffs along with Parkin. Wyatt is not cuffed. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at Remember I was talking about uh, how nice it was that all of the people, all of the staff inside the prison almost act themselves like prisoners? Look at this. We've got a workman here resting in solitary confinement along with Adam Grant, a 33-year-old inmate. Uh, he's incarcerated currently uh, in inside solitary confinement for misconduct. He not only attacked staff but also caused a serious injury and they found weapons on him as well. And now the whole yard is flooding because Kronholm and Wyatt are horsing around in the shower room. Parkin was trying to get fresh with Kronholm inside the shower. Good thing these drains work. Uh, look at the water. It's just absolutely going everywhere. Oh, and now it's gone. Okay, perfect. It's really cool. Uh, it's really good that I put those drains there and that they managed to suck up uh, no water whatsoever. I love that. Okay, great. Uh, what else do we need to do? We need some cells. Look, they're still installing all of the electrics and the plumbing. Uh, inside cell block A. Let's let them finish with that. We don't want to overburden all of our workmen because we don't actually have... Well, I mean, I say we don't actually have that many. Holy fuck, we have tons. Look at that, we have fucking eight of them. What is going on? Why is it taking so goddamn long? Come on, you workmen. Have at ye. Quickly, please. Chop, chop. Uh, what about bureaucracy? We want to check bureaucracy because uh, it would be nice to get uh, a cleaning guy. We need a foreman... Uh, and we can research a foreman in six hours, apparently. And once we've done that, uh, then we have access to all these other guys. A clone. We can make a clone. A groundskeeper. That would be nice. Cleaning. And prison labor. Oh, God, yeah. Okay, fine. We're going to get a maintenance guy in. It's going to take six hours for the warden to figure out that we need a maintenance guy. Uh, but he's going to be the guy. It's going to be fantastic. Okay, uh, so if we're going to get a maintenance guy in... Uh, a foreman, we are going to need an office for him. He must occupy his own office right above the warden's office, which is perfect. Uh, let us get his... Uh, he's got a light in there. That's fine. He's going to need a filing cabinet. He's going to need a desk. Where's the desk? He's going to need an office desk, and he's going to need a chair as well. Let's get him a chair, uh, and then as soon as he's ready, he can move in 
and we can start thinking of hiring janitors because I don't know if you've noticed, but holy shit, Detention Center X is a pigsty. Look at how fucking messy it is. Hey, look at all these guys. What are they doing? <laughs> they're sleeping on the bed the wrong way around. What are you guys doing? Oh, okay, they're hungry. It's not chow time yet. Oh no, it has just become chow time. We need a, a guard to quickly open up the doors so that these prisoners can go in and have some chow time. We want to feed all of the prisoners today and also we would like to make a hospital because it seems that they're all uh, injured as well. Look, at they're all limping towards the canteen and of course they cannot get into the canteen because it is ultra, ultra secure. In Detention Center X, you have to have a guard uh, hold your wiener when you take a pee inside Detention Center X. That is the way that I have planned and designed it because I do not trust prisoners. And what are you doing? Where are you going? Oh, he's installing an office chair. He's just taking the long way around. Okay, great. Perfecto. What is happening here? Why would you... How did you do this? He's exhausted because he's trapped himself into some sort of... What the hell? All right, we're gonna we'll 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 save you. Don't worry. <laughs> we're sending our love down the well. It looks like Timmy has managed to get himself stuck inside the walls of Detention Center X. So we're gonna have to send in a team to dig him out. Don't worry, Timmy. I know you haven't eaten for like three weeks or whatever, and it, I you've probably just been stuck there the whole time, and I didn't notice. And I'm really sorry about that. But don't worry. We're gonna knock this down so that you can get out of here. And then as soon as you're out of there, uh, you can maybe also construct this brick wall. I think Timmy's dead. Okay, those two cells are off limits until Timmy is somehow revived. That'd be great. It looks like we now have power and water flowing freely in cell block A, though, uh, which is nice. That means that we can actually, say, make these cells. Can these be cells? Yes, they can. Look, all of those can be cells. All of these can be cells. We have a nice cell here as well. And once Timmy is revived, these two can also become cells. All right, cool. Uh, we need some stuff in cells. We need a bed and a toilet at least inside here, uh, which is fine. That should be good. Uh, we're going to make the toilet uh, here. Look at this. Uh, I want to make the toilets right in front of the doors so that when the guards walk by and somebody is trying to go to the toilet, the guard can make sure that there's no funny business going on. Uh, and then we'll have a different setup for the beds. Look, we'll have the beds right next to the toilets, actually. Because I think if you're in jail, uh, it's punishment enough being in jail, yes. But also, I think that you should have to sleep uh, with your head directly next to a toilet as further punishment as well. Uh, obviously, only if you're in jail for a good reason. If you're in jail for a terrible reason, you let me know and I'll change the bed around. Uh, but for now, we're just going to assume that everybody who's in Detention Center X is in here for a really good reason, uh, and therefore will have to sleep with their head next to a toilet. It's only fair. I think, the, I think society demands justice, and I'm the guy who's going to deliver uh, that justice as the, uh, as the architect of Detention Center X. Okay, great. Once these beds have been installed, uh, maybe some of these prisoners can actually start living in, in these cells. Wouldn't that be great? I personally think that that would be great. We have a whole bunch of solitary cells as well, probably more than we actually need. And maybe, uh, maybe in some time we can dismantle some of these solitary cells and just make really luxurious uh, cells for white collar criminals. We can start attracting white collar criminals to our fine establishment, maybe corporate criminals who have a lot of money, uh, who would maybe want to bribe me and give me some money. I would be up for that. I mean, it's just a make-believe prison. Uh, I'm fine with that. I would obviously never do that in real life. Uh, so if anybody's out there thinking that they want to hire me as a warden, trust me, this isn't going on my CV, but in a make-believe prison, Hell yeah, I'm all about getting more money. I mean, I have 48 grand right now. I could do with more, big time. Okay, great. Uh, does anybody want to uh, live in a prison cell? Hello? Anybody? No?